We have told you before how demand for dry ice is going up as states and companies distribute the Pfizer vaccine. The shots to combat COVID-19 need to be stored at extremely cold temperatures and dry ice helps to keep it stored and transported safely. So how does dry ice get to such freezing cold temperatures? It is in great demand, as is our science guy, Steve Spangler. That's what you and dry ice have in common. <laughs> that's what, I guess that's probably true. Are you just glad that I'm not in studio right now uh, making a mess? It's Sparing better that we're me. doing it yeah. at somebody else's home, don't you think? Hey, here's what's kind of fun. Here, wait, I got to put this over here for a second. Uh, here, here is the thing about dry ice. You know, I'm using it all the time to be able to, to, to do great things at Halloween, and, and we're talking about the fog. But for the vaccine, it is the perfect substance at the perfect temperature. Now, this is regular ice right here, right? So you just go to the store and I get some regular ice. What's the difference between regular ice, that's just frozen water. You can kind of see down here kind of what that looks like here, just that frozen water. This, on the other hand, and I can touch this because that's no problem at all, freezes at 32 degrees, right? This is dry ice. This is our dry ice. It's a slab of dry ice. And I can't touch it with my hand, so that's why I have to have the gloves on. It is 78 degrees below zero Celsius. It's about 110 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. And the vaccine has to be stored at about that temperature. So that's what makes this perfect. But if you go to, for example, our friends at General Air have, uh, have dry ice, you can go to your grocery store and you can get it. You typically buy the slab. That's not what you're seeing them use for the vaccine. They're using what's called pellet ice. And so here is our pellet ice like this. You can see what this looks like. They're small little pellets. And when they decrease the size like this, it's easier to control the temperature. Um, Tom and Kim, when you look at it this way here, I can't, uh, I can't touch it with my hands. Again, 78 degrees below zero, it is frozen carbon dioxide. So this ice here will turn into water when it, when it melts. This does not melt. This goes from a solid to a gas, and so it just turns into carbon dioxide, and that's what you have here. Now at Halloween, you know, we drop it in there, and, and, uh, and it makes the fog and everything else, but this is going to be crucial for transporting the vaccine from refrigeration to refrigeration. The transport companies are going to need to use this dry ice. So it's a matter of how we make it, how we keep it, and, and now, as opposed to a Halloween stunt, how we use it. Halloween stunt? Are you kidding me? How, how is that a Halloween stunt? <laughs> this is this is serious science. Tom, if you were here right now, if I was at your house, I'd take the pellet dry ice and I'd just dump it in back here like this. And this would be fantastic. This is, don't you think this is a great way to celebrate and to learn a little bit about dry ice at the same time? 78 degrees below zero Celsius. Pretty cool stuff. Looks like you have plenty. We can bring some Pfizer vaccine over just in the next hour or two. <laughs> you just hold on Please to it Please send us. it all over. I'll take my shot right now. Thank Can't you. Can't wait to get it out of there and get it into everyone's arms. Hey, Steve, it's great to see you. Thanks again, as always. We great will be right back. Too.